Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to add a contact in HubSpot from your newly generated Facebook lead. So imagine this, a new lead called as John has been generated from your Facebook forms. So you have John's name, email address and all those details. So you want to add John as a contact in HubSpot, maybe to analyze the data or just to create a backup. So here you have two choices. The first choice is you copy all the detail from Facebook forms, sort it out and manually add John as a contact in HubSpot. So this process is actually very repetitive and tiresome. So I would suggest that you bring in some automation. So here, when a new lead is added in Facebook, it will automatically create a contact in HubSpot. So in this video, we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Facebook and HubSpot. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and here you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just 2 minutes. Here I would like to mention one more thing that Public Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Ok so scroll down and here you will find connect just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow, click this, a dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to the workflow. I am going to give it as Facebook, Facebook to HubSpot, HubSpot, and then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Facebook. So here we have two choices, Facebook comments and Facebook lead ads. So we are going with this one, Facebook lead ads, because we want to receive the data when a lead is entered in your Facebook form. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we go with new lead. So new lead is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new lead is created, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there is one more trigger event that is new lead legacy. However, in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new lead is made in Facebook. Okay, so basically the gist of the process is we are just trying to integrate Facebook to Pabli Connect. So let me just click on this button, connect with Facebook. Again in the new credentials, just click on connect with Facebook. Okay, excellent. So it is showing the authorization is successful. Perfect. Just click on OK. Okay, so when we click on OK, you will find two blanks in front of you, page as well as the lead generation form. So what are those? So let me explain you. So let me just click here. So these are the pages I have in my Facebook account. So let me just show you. So let me just take you to Facebook uh, pages. So these are all the pages I have in my Facebook account. So all the pages that is present here is being reflected here. Okay, this is because Pabli Connect is now integrated with Facebook. So what if, let me ask you a question, what if we create a new page? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a new page. So the name of the page is uh, new edge technologies technologies okay so this is the page name okay new edge technologies and the category i'm going with is uh, science technology and engineering okay and let me just uh, click on create a page okay so as you can see a new page called as new edge technologies has been created so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to refresh this so when i click on refresh i can expect to find this newly created page called as new edge technologies in the drop down so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on refresh okay so this blank has been refreshed so let's explore so yeah where is our newly created page new edge technologies 
new edge yes we do have the page called as new edge technologies okay so we have selected this page so as you can see in the lead generation form it is returning as blank this is because we have just recently created this page and we haven't created any lead form for this particular page so for uh, this purpose i have uh, created one particular page called as uh, any tech uh, solution and uh, in this particular page i have created two lead generation form so these are the two lead generation form that is salesforce lead and lead capture form these are the two forms i have so let us uh, explore that so what i'm going to do here is i'm going back to the pages and we are going to explore uh, this particular page called as any tech solution this is the page okay so as you can see this is the page any tech solution and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to show you my lead forms so i'm going to publishing tools okay so in the publishing tools you will find lead ad forms so this is the one so at present i'm going to use uh, my uh, facebook business suit now in case if you are working with your normal facebook profile it will also work fine so yes these are the two lead forms i have salesforce lead and lead capture form so these are the same two forms that is shown here so i want to uh, get the data from this particular form okay so basically what happens is whenever we select a triggering app as well as the triggering event webhook url appears in front of you now usually we just copy and paste that webhook uh, url into the triggering software to receive the data but here we don't have to do this all we have to do at this point is just click on save and send test request so when i click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created lead i repeat again when i click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created lead so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on uh, this particular form lead capture form and let me just click on this so this is the form so imagine this a respondent is filling in your form so the name of the respondent is uh, hannibal okay and the last name is uh, lector hannibal lector okay you might have heard that name and this is the email address hannibal lector 123 at the rate gmail.com and this is uh, hannibal lector's phone number 9131323918 one eight seven or something okay so we have entered the phone number we have uh, entered the email we have the last name and this is the uh, first name okay so let me just click on next and let me just click on submit okay so Hannibal Lecter has uh, uh, submitted his form on your uh, Facebook forms so let's go to Pabli connect and let me just click on save and send test request so when we click on save and send test request it will fetch the data of the recently created created lead that is Hannibal Lecter so let me just click on save and send test request okay so the api response is showing the data so the first name is hannibal the last name is lecter the email is hannibal lecter 123 at the gmail.com and this is the phone number excellent so basically we have got all the data now we have to create a contact in hubspot now to do that all you have to do is just click on this plus button okay so when you click on this plus button another window opens up this is called as the action window so in the choose app how about we make it as a hubspot hubspot crm it is Okay, so now in the action event, how about we make it as create a new contact. So create a new contact is an action event. There are many more action events like create a company, create a deal, create a ticket, create an engagement and so on. All of them are a bunch of action events. Now, just like the triggers, if you have trouble finding the action event according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabli.com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to create a new contact in HubSpot. So let me just click on connect with HubSpot CRM. Okay, so now in the new credentials, we have to fill in the API key. So to get the API key, let's have a visit to HubSpot. So this is my HubSpot account. So first of all, I'm just going to click on my settings. Click here. Okay, so this is the settings page and here under the integrations. Okay, so here under the integrations, you will find the option called as API key. Click this. Okay, so this is my API key. All I'm going to do here is just click on show. Okay, I'm not a robot, of course. And let me just uh, copy this key okay i have copied the key and i'm just going to paste it here okay so we have entered the api key so let me just click on save okay so when you click on save a set of blanks has appeared in front of you the purpose of these blanks is very simple we are going to create a contact from the data that we have received from facebook lead lead forms via public connect now before we start mapping in the details let me tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us okay so let's start mapping so let me introduce you to this button this button is called as the mapping button when we click this we will find all the data that we have received from facebook so the email is this one so we have mapped it easy now coming to the first name we are just going to map in the first name that is hannibal 
Now coming to the last name. So the last name is Lecter. So we don't have any data regarding the website company. Yes, of course, we have the data of the phone number. Okay, so this is the phone number. So we have mapped it. Now coming to the address, city, state and the zip code, we don't have any data regarding that. So we are just going to ignore it, but it's quite sufficient to create a contact. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on save and send test request. Okay, so the API response is showing the data has been sent to HubSpot. So let's have a look. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on contacts. Okay, so let's explore. Do we have a contact called as Hannibal Lecter? Yes, we do have a contact called as Hannibal Lecter. This is the name Hannibal Lecter. This is the email and this is the phone number. Excellent. So the presence of uh, this contact shows that uh, we have successfully integrated Facebook and HubSpot with help of Public Connect. So how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not. But before we do that, let me take it to Public Connect and let me explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to minimize uh, this action window and I'm going to minimize this trigger window. Okay, so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated uh, Facebook to Public Connect and then you have integrated Public Connect to HubSpot. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Facebook and HubSpot. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to my forms. Okay. Okay, so I'm just clicking on my form. Okay, so uh, the first name is, uh, how about we go with, uh, okay, Pliny, okay, Pliny, and the last name is uh, Caesar, Pliny Caesar, and this is the email, Pliny the Elder, okay, at the rate gmail.com, or we should have gone with at the rate uh, roam.com, but it's okay, uh, so this is uh, Pliny Elder's uh, phone number. Uh, nine one three one three two four five seven six something random okay so let me just click on next and let me just click on submit okay so Pliny has uh, submitted the form so let's have a look in uh, HubSpot do we have uh, the data of uh, Pliny so let me just uh, refresh this okay so the name is uh, Pliny and this is the email and this is the phone number excellent so we have uh, got the contact Pliny Caesar. Excellent. So our integration is working absolutely fine. This means anytime a new lead is generated in Facebook form, it will be reflected as a contact in HubSpot. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.